Welcome to Reducing Improper Fractions and Comparing Their Values, Part 1. Part 1 makes sense by itself, but if you want to watch Part 2, you can find it at Tomster Miles 51 on YouTube. All right, so our problem is we need to look at these improper fractions, and we need to order them from, was it greatest to least or least to greatest? Greatest to least. Okay, so we have to actually figure out their value compared to each other. Now, it would be easy if these were like fractions. Like fractions have common denominators, meaning they have the same denominator. These aren't. These are all improper fractions, and only two of them are like fractions, the fifths. We can tell that 25 fifths is smaller than 30 fifths. Which would you rather have, 30 fifths of a billion dollars or 25 fifths? Well, Unless you're out of your mind, you'd rather have 30 fifths and think of all the good you could do for the world. But, we, but that's great, but that doesn't help us out with the sevenths and the sixths and the ninths. So the first thing that you need to do is reduce these improper fractions to mixed numbers. Okay? So how do you take 25 fifths and reduce it to a mixed number? Well, you take advantage of that one rule of fractions that any time the numerator and the denominator are the same, it equals 1, right? So we just start subtracting out 5 fifths. Okay, so Jake, 25 fifths take away 5 fifths is how many fifths? That's right. Okay, then we just keep going. We subtract 5 more fifths. And 20 fifths minus 5 fifths is how many fifths, Sebastian? 20 fifths minus 5 fifths equals how many fifths? That's right. Good answer. 15 fifths. Okay, I'm going to write that over here just so I know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to take another 5 fifths out. What's 15 fifths? Minus five more fifths, Dominic. Uh, 15 plus five more fifths. No, minus five more fifths. Minus five fifths. Ten fifths. Ten fifths. Okay, <laughs> let's take another five fifths out. What's ten fifths minus five fifths, Dawson? What's ten fifths minus five fifths in fifths? Okay. What's uh, 5 fifths minus 5 fifths, Havana? Zero fifths. Okay. Now, how many groups of 5 fifths did I take out? Well, let's, let's check. Let's just put a circle around them. I took out one group of 5 fifths, and that left me with 20 fifths. And then I took out another group of 5 fifths, and that left me with 15 fifths. And then over here, I took out another group of 5 fifths, and that left me with 10 fifths, and then I took out another group of 5 fifths, and that left me with 5 fifths, and then I took out another group of 5 fifths, I rewrote it, and I took out another group of 5 fifths, and that left me with 0 fifths, or 0. So how many, each one of these is equal to 1, right? Because the numerator and the denominator are the same. So let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 20, we have just proved that 25 fifths equals 5. Now, an easier way to do that might have been to take advantage of that rule of fractions that says any time you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number, you'll get an equivalent fraction, or any time you divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number, you'll get an equivalent uh, value. So let's divide both of these by 5. We'll divide the Numerator by 5, what's 25 divided by 5, Alex? We multiply by 5. That's correct. And Alex, what is 5 divided by 5? 1. So the answer is 5 once or 5. So 25 fifths, we have just proven, equals 5. So why don't we go up here and we'll keep track and we'll do it in another color just to so let's just write above here that this equals 5. Okay, that's not a very good 5. Let me write a 
better one. Okay, so, and I'll put a, a circle around it. So now we know that 25 fifths equals 5. Okay? Question or comment, Frankie? Oh, you can't, it's not. This whole time you have to. Well, why didn't you tell, why didn't somebody no, tell me? We didn't know we were supposed to. We didn't know we were supposed to. We didn't exactly see like. I'm sorry. I, I must apologize. I'm, I'm so into this problem that I was going to keep going no matter what. Frankie, thank you for, uh, and anytime you can't see, somebody please just yell, Mr. Miles, you idiot, I can't see. Okay. All right, so let us, uh, let us move on, and I'll make this a little bit bigger so you can see it. Uh, let us move on. Now we have, we found the value. We've reduced, and Nora used that word, reduced. We reduced 25 fifths to 5 once or 5. So that's pretty easy. We know it's 5. Now we've got to do the same thing. Instead of subtracting 7 sevenths, uh, for 21, I'm going to flip the page here, for uh, 21 sevenths, can we take advantage of that rule that if we divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number, we'll get a reduced value? And what, if we did, what would we divide 21 by and 7? What can we divide 21 by and 7 by and get a whole number answer? Alexis? We're looking for something we can divide 7 by and the same number we can divide 21 by and we'll get a whole number answer. We're trying to reduce this improper fraction is what we're trying to do. Roma? Uh, three? Uh, yeah, we can't divide 7 by 3. You can only divide 7 by two numbers. It's a prime number. You can divide it by 1, which won't do us any good, or you can divide it by 7. You want to divide by 7? I thought so. Yeah, divide by 1. It'll be easier. Don't be a smart aleck. Okay, 7 divided by 7 is 1. And 21 divided by 7 is? So we end up with 3 once. Or, in other words, 3. Okay, so 21 sevenths. Do you have a question or comment, Havana? Um, great. Could you hold on to that thought and share it at the end of the problem with us? Okay, so now we know we've got the value in whole numbers of 25 fifths and 21 sevenths. How about 30 fifths? And again, instead of taking out 5 fifths,